What an interesting situation we have going on here. Hi, I'm Adam Lavelle, the wrestling snob, wrestlingdoneright.com. Talking about pro wrestling. Noah, sunny voice from October 7, 2024. The semi-main event, former friends, former tag team partners, former good-looking guys, Jack Morris versus Anthony Green. Of course, Jack Morris is hanging around with some tall goon in a skull mask of some type, and beginning of this match they come out holding anthony green apparently have beaten him up in the back on the way to the ring beat him up some more on the way to the ring throw him in the ring and jack morris demands the match starts right then of course he does right of course he does look i don't know what i think about jack morris as this super unethical vile evil heel um he's a great wrestler see that's part of the problem he's a terrific wrestler he is a good looking guy he has charisma he had the fans and now all of a sudden he's a scumball piece of garbage I, you know, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to crap on him. He's an excellent wrestler, and I'm going to give him, give him the chance to impress me as a heel, but he's going to have to work hard. He just has a lot to overcome. People want to see him wrestle. People want to cheer this guy. Now, hanging around with this goon in the mask and, and Daga now, you know, spoiler at the end of the match, Daga comes out and, and looks like he's there to help Anthony Green because the match ends in a disqualification wasn't much of a match. It was just um, Jack Morris beating the crap out of Anthony Green. Anthony Green making a big comeback, showing that he wasn't going to be held down even by multiple people, looking like he might get, get back in the match and maybe even have a chance to win it. And does a tope suicida outside to the goon in the mask. And the goon in the mask gets up and comes in and just starts beating up the referee and helping Jack Morris destroy Green even more. Daga comes out, looks like he's going to save Green, but instead turns on him, beats him down. Why anybody thought Daga was going to help Green, I don't know. And he's joining Jack Morris in the Skull Mask, dude. Now, from what we know, the Skull Mask guy is going to be revealed on the 14th. Um, Jack Morris has already announced that, and that can't happen soon enough because this just looks goofy, this guy walking around in his Halloween mask. Um... But no, this is this match was to establish Jack Morris as evil, vile, underhanded, dirty, scummy, everything a heel can be. You know, teaming with Daga, one of the biggest heels in the company, one of the biggest heels in wrestling. Um, walking around with the guy in a mask, going to reveal himself on the 14th. You know, he's doing everything he can to show the world, to show Noah, flipping them off, telling them this is my pro wrestling Noah now. Doing a good job. I'm not putting the guy down at all. I never would. He's been one of my favorites in Noah for quite a while now. But again, that's the problem. He's got a lot to overcome. He's got, a, I mean, Ric Flair did it. Ric Flair had people who wanted to cheer him because he was a heck of a promo, one of the best wrestlers in the world, you know, had a great look to him, had everything going for him. People always wanted to cheer Ric Flair, and lots did. But he became the dirtiest player in the game, and it worked. It, it, it turned a lot of fans on him. Uh, Jack Morris is young and, and has the best years ahead of him. So him doing this doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But I'm willing to give it a shot. Maybe he'll be a terrific heel. I mean, you know, Rick Rude, you know, is an incredible heel. And maybe he'll go that direction. But I'm, I'm really hoping the guy in the mask is somebody important and not just some UK wrestler that I'm going to have to Google to find out who the hell he even is. If that's the case, not a big deal. But I just think if you're going to bring a masked guy in and, and, and go to all kinds of efforts to hide his identity, when it's revealed, it better be sort of a <gasps> gasping moment, right? Like, oh my God. Like, and if it's not, if it's just some normal rube, from progress, you know, or something like that. No offense to them. I'm just saying it needs to be somebody. It's not going to be, you know, Roman Reigns. I'm not saying that, but it's got to be somebody big, somebody shocking to some degree. Who? I don't know, but I'm, I'm curious to see who this is. This wasn't much of a match. It was a fight and did a good job of, of showing that Anthony Green can come back after a beatdown. LJ Cleary came in the end to, to help Anthony Green out, which was good, but it was still three on one. They didn't attack him. They left him alone in there with Green until the last second Jack Morris ran back in the ring and gave a big running knee to LJ Cleary and flipped both Green and Cleary off as he left the ring. Um, it was okay. It was good for what it was, but boy, this really needs to go someplace. And Green needs to go someplace after he's done with Morris as well because he's great too. I'm willing to see where it goes. I'm on board. I enjoyed it for what it was. And next up is the main event, which I'll probably talk about tomorrow. But I really appreciate you guys hanging out and checking out these videos.